Over the last couple of weeks boys I have been doing something that you all know, that I really, really don't like to do. I've been training, skilling, and questing. And honestly, it's been rough. But if you want anything done on this game, it's going to require hard work, and strict discipline. Unless, you pay a guy from Venezuela or Pakistan to do it all for you for 50 bucks. But men who choose to do this, are weak. Both mentally, and physically. And they definitely, aren't bricked up. That's right boys. This level 56 Zarite Bow Pure is about to rock the RuneScape community. And to my surprise, I haven't seen anybody else make a video of a low level pure using this bow. So I decided to give it a shot. And honestly boys. It slapped pretty hard. But since there are so many different variations of account builds you can have at level 50 nowadays, I'm not going to say that this Zarite bow is as superior as it is on a high level account with full void and an amulet of anguish. But regardless, it still slaps. Here I was attacking an overpowered level 67 granite maul Bure, who kept trying to rush us earlier. Little wolf mask boy just clapped a noob for his bank, so I decided to give this cowboy some slaps. And since I was such a low level, he couldn't help but to try to clap me out, which, he did. But luckily for us, our trusty ring of recoil came in at the last second, and clapped Johnny boy down with our final breath. And as for the overpowered dragon warhammer viewers, let's just say that they were not happy about my massive slaps. Sorry Addy Skimiter boy. But your days of being the top chad of these streets is coming to an end buddy. We're all the way bricked up. Although this account was almost fun to PK with, I decided that this account needs a little bit of more work until this Zerite crossbow is actually overpowered. So I'm going to work on obtaining 90 ranged and 75 hit points before we PK with this crossbow on this account again. So for now, these sandy islands are where I'm going to be vacationing for the next 30 days. But don't worry boys don't you worry, you know I got much more pristine content for you to watch boys don't you worry. Here are some clips of me running up on some spooked Venezuelans deep inside the Revenant Caves, that's right boys. These clips always get the women in Varrock real bricked up. Here I was running through the treacherous Revenant Caves in full void and a green dark bow like a complete goon. When all of a sudden I encountered some gold farmers trying to kill that new shitty revenant boss. What's good about this new shitty boss is that it gets the gold farmers so excited, that they will be more focused on killing the boss and getting a drop, rather than teleporting like they usually do. Notice how I don't even have any tele block or magic at all? Strictly just slapping him up with the dark bow through his protection prayers. Pray all you want buddy. These dragon arrows are flying in like ballistic missiles. Just when Gold Farmer Boy thought he was safe, he ran out of prayer points, which gave me the perfect opportunity to finally end this young man's life, with a dark bow spec straight to the dome. 
Rest in peace and farewell young worker. May you harvest more gold somewhere else little Johnny. Oh alright alright. 500k? Not too bad boys not too good. Now for a word from our partners over at ExpressVPN. Does it make sense that the same company who controls half of online retail also passively eavesdrops on your private conversations at home? What about the idea that a single company controls 90% of internet searches, runs your email service, and gets to track everything you do on your smartphone? Big tech is more powerful than most countries are, and they profit by exploiting your personal data. It's time to put a layer of protection between your online activity and these tech juggernauts, and that's why I use ExpressVPN. Think about how much of your life is on the internet. Everything you do gets tracked and data mined. But when you run ExpressVPN on your device, the software hides your IP address, making it much more difficult for big tech to trace your activity back to you, and it encrypts 100% of your internet data to keep you safe from hackers and eavesdroppers on your network. Stop handing over your personal data to the big tech monopoly who mines your activity and sells your information. Protect yourself with this VPN boys. I use it every single day. Visit expressvpn.com slash buttholes to get three extra months free. Ha 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 wow! I truly love this new loot key loot system Jagex recently installed. No more wasting your time picking up a bunch of junk, just comes straight into the inventory with quickness. Truly genius. I really hope that Jagex continues to focus on updating PvP before this game is completely dead. Just like that gold farmer we just clapped. Really buddy? 177k? Come on bud. You can't farm gold on just those revenant imps and goblins buddy. You need to step up your game if you want to compete with the big dogs. And believe me butter boy. You have a lot of competition. Let's go ahead and take a look at that loot boys. Holy cow boys. 1 million coins? That's it? This is really all you had buddy? This is pathetic. Pathetic, and sad. Just like the future of this game. Ha 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 wow. Believe me boys there is nothing that I enjoy more than running these centipede boys out of dodge. Look at this lizard try to make an escape over the agility obstacle, just to get clapped by a barrage of dragon arrows straight to his hunchback. Now let's watch that again in super savage slow motion. Just look at little Johnny desperately trying to make an escape. It's sad little Johnny. You are really sad. And now, you are really dead. And I think it's time we go check what's in your bank key. Holy crap boys 479k? That's what we're talking about boys. That's almost enough to afford a prayer potion. Thanks a lot Joe. Look boys that Bob PK a Bob bot is still up and running. But honestly boys, who cares? Bots aren't the problem with RuneScape, boys, nor are the gold farmers. It's Jamflex. And with the rate the game is going with PvP it's only a matter of time until this game completely falls off the map. I don't know if you boys have read the upcoming updates to PvP, but just like we expected. It's another huge letdown. And it's to the point that the community left on this game, are a bunch of zoomers who think the good old days were back in 2011. And believe me boys. By 2011, this game was complete trash. And that's just a solid fact. But it makes me laugh boys. Let's laugh together as this game burns to the ground, just like it did once before. But don't worry boys. It's a good thing boys. This game needs to die so you boys can get a grip of your life, and finally grow up. Quit this crappy game boys, and just live vicariously through these crappy YouTubers like myself. Ha 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 wow.